Blue skies means fun days. Helping skydivers with tips and techniques about safety, training and fun jumping from those who know. Hi and welcome to Blue Skies Fun Days. Today we're going to chat about increasing your chances of survival in skydiving. Probably a worthwhile subject. I'm sure many of you have heard of the concept known as the Swiss cheese model that was developed by James Reason. The idea is that no one event ever causes the final accident. But the final outcome is often the result of a series of poor decisions. In the Swiss cheese model, the slices of cheese represent various layers of defence against lack of knowledge or arrogance. In an ideal world, each defence would look like this. It would be solid and intact. But in reality, each defence is like this it has holes in. And the same is true for all the other defences. All the defences have holes in them. These safety barriers or systems can be anything from policies and procedures, equipment decisions or choices, lack of respect for environmental conditions, lack of knowledge or complacency, individual people, or even the groups we decide to jump with. Done well though, we can learn from prior situations or mistakes that other people have made. Sometimes these situations or mistakes can lay dormant for long periods of time and are not always recognised. This is when you hear people say, well, that's never happened before. But chances are, if it has occurred somewhere, hopefully a rigger drop zone owner or chief instructor has introduced a rule or procedure to prevent the incident from happening again. Most of the time the holes in these defence layers do not align. So even if one system fails, the following defence layer is effective and prevents serious errors or mistakes from occurring. There are instances, however, where a catalogue of errors leads to many or all of the defence layers failing. And this is when someone gets badly hurt. Here's a few examples where a number of the outcomes ended up being fatalities. Have a think about what could have been done to prevent the eventual outcome. A student who was ridiculed about using their reserve after a hard pull went in after the next hard pull situation. She fought it all the way to impact. Or the person who groped for their reserve handle all the way to the ground, never once looking for it. For that one, I was sitting above him and watched him go all the way until he met with his shadow. What about a rigging challenge where a jumper packs a small canopy into a large container? and has a premature deployment. Or a group of novices who include a new A-licensed friend who is using student gear that isn't free fly friendly and they go on a horny gorilla, which is a high speed back to earth formation and that results in a premature deployment. What about the uncurrent swooper who jumps in frequently but still feels they know when to downsize better than a current and experienced canopy coach? The Swiss cheese model shows us that if we have systems and procedures in place and we follow them, there is less chance of either something going wrong or being caught out by something unforeseen in the awareness of an inexperienced individual. Hopefully this has given you something to think about as you skydive safely, or at least as safely as you can. See you next time on Blue Skies Fun Days.
just a quick request to make sure that you've subscribed, rung the bell, and be sure to tell your friends about all that's available at Blue Skies Fun Days. For more tips and techniques, click subscribe. <laughs>